Server Basics 2016, this is video number three, or you could consider it video number three. We did a downloading video, we did an installing video um, where the install process, we also gave it a server name and set the date and time to the proper time zone and made sure that that was correct. And we installed all the Windows updates. So the purpose of this video is we're gonna be setting up this server as our first and only Active Directory domain controller as of now. I am planning on setting up more domain controllers and breaking stuff and showing you how to fix it and all that other good stuff. But for now, this is the first one. We're pretending we're start, still setting up a, a new environment, okay? So the first thing we need to do after going through video one and video two is let's set this thing a static IP. For servers, I recommend setting them static. It's simple, it's easy. Keep a spreadsheet of all the static IPs and their corresponding server names. And maybe, you know, what those servers do, depending on how many servers you have. So let's first find out what DHCP gave this uh, server's IP. So we'll do CMD, we'll do IP config. I'm gonna do a switch all, because I wanna see the DNS server too. So we can see our IP address is 10.0.2.15. And then our gateway is important because we're going to need to put that in when we set a static and then our DNS server. So I'm going to leave that up. I'm just going to leave it down here just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to right click our little icon down here for the network thing where you go open network and sharing. Over here on the left, I'm going to say change adapter settings. Here's our one adapter that I have set up through VirtualBox. Right click it, go to properties. I'm going to disable IPv6. I find it unnecessary uh, in an internal network as of now for myself. We're going to highlight IPv4, hit properties. We're going to give this thing, I'm going to set it to 10.0.2.10. It's just what I want to do. 255, 255, 255.0 is class C. Our default gateway was 10. Dot, and if you wanted to see it, it's down here. 10.0.2.2. Oops, why did I put 20? 10.0.0. No, two, 10. Dot, what was it? 10. Dot, I think it was 10. Zero, two, two. Yeah, 2.2. Two. And then DNS server is going to be my home DNS server, which is my router. 10.2.0.1. Uh, and then if you wanted to, you can also give it an alternative like a like a 8.8.8.8. I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Going to hit OK. We're going to hit close, and we're done with that. So if we bring this back up, so we can all see it and do a clear screen, we go IP config. If I can type it, 10.0.2.10. Uh, .10. Can we still ping like my home router, 10.2.0.1? Yep, we're good. I'm pretty sure we can ping Google or other things too. So we are we have the proper IP address, it's not gonna change on us, and uh, we're good on that. Let's add a role. So we're gonna bring up server manager, which is that this icon? No, it's task view. They used to have a server manager icon down here. Okay, well, we'll just go. Oh, it's right there. Do you see that? Uh, bear with me. I'm getting used to this interface. So server manager. But what we want to do is add roles and features. Click that. It's just telling you stuff. I'm going to hit next. Yes, we want to do a role-based feature. Um, I'm not interested in this remote desktop service installation yet. So I hit next. Select a server from the pool. It's basically the only server that is in the network right now, so that's the only one that's there. I'm just gonna leave it highlighted. Hit next, and I'm going to select Active Directory Domain Services. It's gonna install all this other um, needed stuff. I'm gonna say Add Features. Next. If you needed like a custom, if you needed to put like 3.5 framework stuff on there, you can do that, and additional features, but I'm just gonna hit next. I'm going to hit next, and do I want to restart it? Um, probably, but I'll just manually do it. I think it'll do it anyways, but hit install, and it's going to go through the process. When it's finished, um, just hit close. And now that the feature is actually installed, we need to promote this to a domain controller. So there's a little exclamation point. Actually, on that previous screen, I think there was an option to click something to, to set this up. But I just hit close. I hit this little exclamation point. Post deployment configuration. It's saying, hey, you got it installed, but now you need to promote it. So I'm going to hit promote. All right, so we don't, it, the first option, the default one is to add a domain controller to an existing domain. Obviously, in this scenario, we don't have an existing domain. So I'm going to say, add a new forest. We're going to call this domain, um, I think in the previous one I called it cool.local or something, or internal. This one, I wrote it down, 
test domain. Test, <laughs> test domain dot local. That's what I want to do. No, let's do internal. I always like internal. Kind of makes sense. All right, so we're gonna hit next. Because you know, if you name it like a dot com or something, it's it'll conflict with you know an actual dot com or dot ca or something out there. Or if you're trying to do certificates, SSL certificates, it'll cause problems. So internal or local is fine. Functional level. Well, okay, this is a new one. Windows Server Technical Preview. I think we're gonna leave it at that. We'll just see what happens. Typically, this would be like 2012 R2 or 2016 R2 or whatever it is at the time. But um, the highest level that you can go, go ahead and go there. Uh, domain name system, yes, we do want to um, make this a DNS server. And typically, your AD, um, AD server is gonna be a DNS server. So here's a uh, directory services restore mode password. I'm just gonna make something up. Hit next. Create uh, specified DNS delegation options. We're just gonna leave that alone. Hit next. NetBIOS name, we're gonna leave that alone. Okay, we're gonna leave all the ADDS database log and all that stuff, the file directories uh, alone. And next. And review the options. Um, you can view the script if you need wanted to try deploying this in a different fashion. Um, just an option in case you knew that there's PowerShell stuff in there. So we're hit next. Some prereqs need to be validated. Um, I'm just briefly going through these. I'm not All right, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go with it. If you click install, the server will automatically reboot. We'll hit install, and here it's talking about it's gonna be we're gonna be signed out because it's gonna reboot. So we'll let it reboot too. And after the reboot, let's go ahead and log back in. So this time, we it's gonna want us to log in as our domain administrator account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, I haven't set the domain administrator account yet. So let's see what happens if I use the one. Uh, I don't know if it just set that or if it used my local admin one because I think the local admin one, I don't know if it goes, I don't know how it works on this one. We'll have to look at that one later. But anyways, I logged in and we are actually logged into the domain. So it took a little longer to, um, to reboot this time because I had to finish setting that up. So let's go to up here to tools from within the server manager. Let's go to Active Directory users and computers because I just want to verify that um, Active Directory is all set up and, and good to go. I'm pretty confident it is. One, because it's green down here and down here DNS is, is running good. But two, just because I want to see the visual. So I thought I clicked it. Maybe it's just taking a minute for it to come up. So I'll click it again because I'm impatient. Okay, so here is our test domain.internal root, and we, let's see, we got domain controllers, we go in here, we have our AD server, so that's good. One other thing I wanna do in this video, um, before we move on to actually setting up our Active Directory structure, our OU structure, is let's enable remote desktop, just because it doesn't seem like they enable that. I mean, I know they don't enable it, so let's go to local server, and is it here? Remote desktop, it's disabled. Just because I want a remote desktop to it, uh, maybe from the Mac here, I don't know. We'll, we'll try it out, we'll play with it. So I'm gonna allow remote connections. We could select users, but I think we can just hit okay. So our next video, we're gonna be setting up the OU structure in Active Directory and um, basically getting a foundation for where we're gonna um, put client machines, other servers, and so on. So we'll see you in the next tutorial.